What is going on guys and welcome to another trucking vlog. Today this is the tribute video to one of my favourite YouTubers, Riding With Dave. And I'll put a link for his channel in the description. And if you don't know Dave, he was a truck driver and this was his very truck here that we're driving today. The truck is the Kenworth T680 with the matching CFI trailer. The engine on this one is the Packard MX-13 which is just a little over 400 horsepower just like the standard truck in real life. We are also using the Packard 12 speed automated transmission and we have the tandem axle on the truck also. And I'll talk more about Dave and his channel as we go on our drive today. Let's fire it up and listen to the engine and fire the horns. We've done all our pre-trip inspections and we are ready to drive to the yard to get loaded. You join me just outside the city centre of Coeur d'Alene and we have a short drive to the yard to pick up boat engines and we're taking them north all the way up to Sandpoint today. It's a little over 60 miles and uh, it should be a nice chilled drive so please come and join me. So we have all our paperwork in order, we're in the cab here, and we've got the GPS set, so let's head on our way. I wasn't sure about this Kenworth when I used to see it at first and uh, it's really grown on me and it's such a cool truck to drive, it's one that I think a lot of people overlook in the game. And look at this beautiful scenery and the gorgeous day that we have today in Idaho. So we're just heading over the Spokane River now and what an absolutely beautiful view this is. So why did I make this video? Well, you might have heard of the YouTuber Riding With Dave. He actually started off making moto vlogs many years ago and I used to check out some of his videos then. I used to watch a lot of motorcycle vlogging because as you may know, I have motorbikes in real life. Just about the start of the pandemic, Dave decided to take up trucking and he had learned to be a truck driver and this was his rig, the CFI company truck, identical to this one. Oh, and by the way, I'll put a link in the description if you want to download the truck and trailer for American Truck Sim. I think you'll agree, it's an absolute beauty and it's been done so well. And I have to thank Dave a whole lot because he is one of the very few truck vloggers that I will actually watch on YouTube. He's a genuinely nice guy and the thing about him that really endeared himself to me was the fact that he wasn't a know-it-all. He didn't know everything. He hadn't been trucking for 20 years. He was new. He was a rookie and he was quite happy to make mistakes and tell you if he was struggling with something. And uh, I highly recommend that you watch his videos because he has taught me so much about how to drive the trucks, what bobtailing means, how to back in the yards. And also he's allowed me to appreciate just how slow you need to reverse. A lot of people, especially in these sims, want to do it at 100 miles an hour. And I think you need to take your time and you need to set up the, the reverse park really carefully.
We're told we're going to the last bay along here, and so I think we can do a pull through, but there isn't a whole lot of room. So we're going to drive around the back of the yard here, because I've been told there's a lot more room back here for a reverse park. So let's do that. There's a whole lot of stuff sitting here in the way, some pieces of wood sitting at the side, a bit of metal and those concrete barriers. So we're going to have to be careful, but we're just going into that bay right there. Yeah, so coming back to Dave, he's the guy to watch if you're not sure how to back up these trucks. He's taught me so much about how to straighten up the truck and trailer, and I certainly wouldn't claim that I'm an expert or even that good at it, but without the help of him I think I'd be totally lost um, in terms of how to back up these trucks. We just touched that little piece of wood there on the ground. Oh, let's check this side of the truck to see if we've got room. Yeah, we're looking good. But I think what we'll do when we get this in a little further is we'll just do a little bit of a pull forward here. We've got some room in front of the storage container and it should go in fairly straight at that point. And Dave, just about Christmas time I think it was, announced that he was giving up being a truck driver. I think that freaked out a lot of people who enjoyed watching his content. He decided now to create off-roading vlogs, which are really, really cool. But he hasn't given up on the trucking because most of his videos are still in the CFI truck. His girlfriend, Billy Joe, who he travels all around the United States with, is also a CFI truck driver. And so Dave is now sitting in the passenger seat doing the vlogs from there. And he gives us a different perspective. We don't get to see him trying to back or some of the interactions with the people in the yards, but we get to see him watching the truck backing in and things like that and what I always say with YouTube is watch three videos you know give people a chance watch a couple of their videos you might not quite love everyone you see on YouTube straight away from the very first thing you see but give them a bit of a chance and if you enjoy their content then subscribe to them and start watching all the great stuff that they're putting out So we have picked up the boat engines, that was fairly quick, We've been put in there and we are now heading out the yard and we're going to go up the road to Sandpoint, that's our next destination. We're going to take it easy, we're not in any rush at all, they don't need it till much later today so we're just going to take it easy. The roads around here seem very quiet which is excellent, so we'll get some nice shots of the scenery and of this gorgeous truck as we head up to our destination. loving the sound of this truck and the mods that I'm using for the truck and the trailer are made by the same person. It's the CFI Kenworth T680 truck skin and the CFI trailer skin, both available on the Steam Workshop and I'll put a link in the description for them.
Okay, we're making good progress. We're almost at the 95. We can't do the famous Dave right mirror turn cam, but this is the best thing I've got. So let's have a little look at the turn and see if I can keep it out of the dirt. I often debate what are my favourite states in this game from the DLCs. Idaho is absolutely beautiful. I also love Washington State and I love Wyoming. I'm definitely looking forward to Texas, although I don't think it's going to be as pretty as this. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. You'll notice I'm only putting out one video every month now for American Truck Sim. I was trying to put out a lot more content, but I'm trying to be a little bit more diverse on the channel and put out different games and different sims and things like that. And of course, something has to, to give. And I think what I'm planning to do is rather put out a really quick American Truck Sim video where it's just inside the cab and I'm just blithering for 10-15 minutes to you every single week. I'm trying to do this once a month and you can see it takes a lot more time to make it like this with the outside views and more of the cinematics and things like that. So I hope you appreciate it but let me know what you think of the content. I try to put as much effort into the content as I can and again I try to make sure the videos are in up to 4k resolution just so you can get the maximum quality from what we're doing. We don't actually need any fuel, but I was going to pick up the little viewpoint here so you guys could see it in Sandpoint in case you hadn't seen it before. Let's have a little look and see how pretty it is. I guess this is where all the boat engines are going for all these boats that people have up here in this part of the world. And you might remember and recognize this street from one of my videos from a long time ago where I had the bright green Mac R series and it was along the street that I took the thumbnail for that. Well, that was pretty decent. I think I've seen better viewpoints in other parts of the world, but that was pretty good. So let's pull out the gas station and we'll head along to the yard and we will be done for the day. You might notice I've got bikes in the game now, but I'm pretty sure it's one of the Jazzy Cats had on traffic cats. It has the motorcycles. They're really good, but they're super loud, especially when you have the windows down in your truck. You cannot miss them. Here's another turn cam moment. And here's us heading up this main street that I was talking about earlier. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, way, way, way back at the start, I had took a photo right about here of the Mac R series. It was the bright green version that we had at the time. I think we were pulling some sort of a digger at the time and that was my first time I'd been in this part of the map. So 
So let me know what you think of the truck that we are using here. I think it's been modded really nicely. The livery for the truck and trailer is really, really well done. And also let me know what you think of the Kenworth trucks, especially the more modern ones like this. I noticed there's a mod for the T680 Next Generation, which looks a lot more futuristic than this truck that's out there. It's not an official truck for the game, and a few of my friends have been using it. So that might be something we can look at in a future video. negotiate this roundabout here and would you believe it we're about a mile away from where we're dropping off and here comes the rain this seems to happen on all my videos on American Truck Sim for some reason there's quite a few now that have ended with a bit of a downpour just in time for us getting out of the truck to do the unloading process let's check this railway line I never trust the railways I'm sure there's nothing coming As you can see it's getting rather dark and those grey clouds are looming above our heads at the minute. What do we expect? We're in Idaho and it is in February so I guess the fact that we're not under snow has to be a good thing. Here's us at the yard and uh, we're just going to stop here. We'll go in and see where they want this dropped off, deal with all the paperwork. Okay, that's it. They've told us to drop in one of the units at the top here. Here's our final little look at the truck just before we go and drive it inside the warehouse here. I think it's an absolute beauty and I've managed to get it as close as I possibly can to the real life truck. The only big difference is the hood mirrors on the real life version are black, they don't have the chrome cover on them but the one that we have here uh, does. So we're going to try and do a pull through, it's not the easiest here because there isn't a whole lot of room so we're going to just try and see if we can do a pull through. really close to this barrier at the side, just want to make sure that we don't touch it, just cleared it. And I think we're going to pull forward and then we'll be able to back it into this space here. This yard definitely doesn't look like the sort of place that builds boat engines or builds boats, it looks more like a quarry, but let's just overlook that fact. We're pretty close there, we're not too bad, so let's just pull it forward a little bit. We're kind of on this line, but I think we can go with that. Let's see if we can just do this from the interior view. I use the realistic mirror field of view mod, and that's something that I would recommend to you, just so you get an accurate view of what's actually in your mirrors for doing this. I like to look out the window, but because of my view tracker that I use, it doesn't really work very well at all. So just time to use the mirrors if I'm going to be inside the cabin. There we go. They're happy with it there. Let's have a final little look at the truck and the trailer. Thank you so, so much for watching this. Please go and check out Riding With Dave and watch a couple of his trucking videos and uh, let him know that I sent you. 
And as you could leave some comments here as well for me, do you watch Dave's channel? Are there any other good trucking vlogs, trucking videos that you would highly recommend that I check out? Give me ideas for future videos. This was like a real life one. I've got a few ideas in the pipeline, but if there's any trucks that you think you'd like to see doing a haul, we'll try and use some of these cinematic shots with it also. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. It means an awful lot to me to have new subscribers who are into the same type of content as I am. And as Dave would say, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Let's take a spin to a far and place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Escape. To a world we don't know Escape Into the great unknown Escape To a world we don't know Escape Into the great unknown